Okay, so as we talked about, um, we're going to start doing some dimensional analysis. And in this, the way you start is that you look at the quantity given and you form a strategy as to getting to the answer. Okay, so answer needed. And then you form a strategy as to how to get there. Let's do an example of how to do this. For example, you are asked to convert 645 microseconds to seconds. So your strategy then is to convert microseconds to seconds. That's the strategy. And then you start with um, just the units first. Okay, so microseconds convert all the arrows to multiplication signs. Put a line there. The microseconds to seconds is a direct conversion, so you don't need to do anything else. Um, your units that you need to cancel are microseconds, so those go down here, and you're converting it into seconds, so that goes up here. Once your units are all set, then you go ahead and put in the numbers. 645 microseconds and <clears throat> in one second you have 10 to the power of 6 microseconds okay and those are the SI units that you have to remember then you go ahead and take out your calculator do the calculation or if you want a short version 645 times 10 to the negative 6 um, seconds excuse me once you have this, you need to bring this down to the proper um, exponents, and that would be 6.45 times 10 to the power of negative 4, because 645 is equal to 6.45 times 10 to the power of 2. Okay, so if that's 10 to the power of 2, and this is negative 6, you add up 2 and 6 to give negative 4. All right, so that is your answer, final answer. Always box that so we know what it is. Let's take another example. And in this one, we will convert 425 nanometers to kilometers. And now you're converting nanometers to kilometers, which is really going from 10 to the negative 9 to 10 to the power of 3. So the best thing to do in these cases is to form a strategy where you come to the base unit, okay, and then convert it to the next one. You can go directly, but I would advise not to do that. So our strategy will be to convert nanometers to meters and then from there go to kilometers. So you set up your units yet again, so start with nanometers because that's the quantity that's given to you. Multiply, convert all the arrows to multiplication signs, draw the line here. Um, you're converting nanometers to meters, so meters goes on the top and nanometers goes down here. There is a direct conversion between nanometers and meters, so we're set. The multiplication sign again for the arrow, and then now you convert the meters to kilometers. And so meters goes down here, kilometers goes up here. Okay, and that will be our um, setup. Put in the numbers now, so 425 nanometers. In one meter, there are 10 to the power of 9 nanometers. And then in one kilometers, there are 10 to the power of 3 meters. Okay, so in one meter they're 10 to the power of 9 nanometer because uh, the meter is the larger quantity and then in kilometers to meters, kilometer is the larger quantity. Go ahead and take out your calculator, do the calculation again or you can again do the short form which is 425 times 10 to the power of negative 12 kilometer if you're doing multiplications, you can add the exponents. So 9 plus 3 is 12. And since this was um, the denominator, when you bring it up, it becomes negative. Again, convert that into um, the proper exponent format. So this is 4.25, 10 to the power of 2. 
and so your final answer becomes 4.25 times 10 to the power of negative 10 kilometers and that is your final answer now we're going to take a little bit more complex example what we've done so far was between um, SI units. Now we will take some um, SI units and convert it to non-SI units. So for example, convert 1.95 times 10 to the power of negative 3 ounce to microgram. That's your conversion. And the conversion factor given is you have one pound is equal to 16 ounces and you have one kilogram is equal to 2.2046 pounds. So you look at all the information that's given to you and you know you have to go from ounce to microgram. So what you can do, looking at all the units that you're given here, is your strategy will be to go from ounce to pounds and then from pounds you can go to kilogram and then to microgram, okay? Because those are the conversions that are given to you. Ounce to pounds, and then pounds, you have the conversion factor of kilogram, and then for kilogram to microgram is an SI conversion. So now let's go ahead and set this up. You have ounce times, you have to convert this into pounds, so pounds goes in the top, ounce goes down here, and then you have to convert this into kilograms, so pounds down here, kilogram up there, and then you have the kilogram down here and microgram up there. And once you have that, fill in all the numbers. <clears throat> 1.95, 10 to the negative 3, and ounce to pounds. Don't go ahead, uh, don't change anything. Just put the numbers as they're given to you. So 1 pound is equal to 16 ounce, and then kilograms to... Okay, so starting again here with um, ounces, 1.95 times 10 to the negative 3 um, ounces, convert that into pounds, and then converting that into kilograms to pounds here, and that conversion is 1 kilogram has 2.2046 uh, pounds, and then 1 kilogram has 10 to the power of 6 micrograms. Okay, and this is again something that you have to remember. But when you're working on your own, you can go ahead and uh, look at the book if you want. These conversions uh, from pounds to ounces and kilograms to pounds, they will be given to you. Uh, so you don't have to memorize those. Okay, so now go ahead and take out your calculator and do the calculation. All right. Your answer should come out 552.82, so and so forth and your answer will be in microgram. By the way, when you're working dimensional analysis, you should go ahead and cross out all the units that you were able to cross out. So that way you know that you have your final units left to be what you want them to be. Okay, so now we look at this one, our answer, and we see um, what our data was given to us, which was 1.95. And that was three significant figures, so we go ahead and convert this into three significant figures, which would then be 553 micrograms. If you need to convert this into um, exponents, then this would be equal to 5.53 times 10 to the power of 2 microgram. You can give your answer either way as an exponents or just as plain number also, so long it's in the right significant figures.